What's going on everybody? Today we are looking at taking a store-bought white dog whiskey, adding some barbecue smoking wood, and turning it into a beautiful barbecue whiskey. I did say store-bought, but you could also use something like a UJSSM or a white dog moonshine that you made yourself. Just follow all laws and regulations in your area. But take that white whiskey, fill up a couple jars with it, and then go to the store and get yourself some barbecue wood. So the woods I got for this video are apple, cherry, and pecan. I just got these all at Home Depot, they were cheap. And you're gonna wanna dig through and find the best pieces, not like the bark, but the true wood grainy pieces. So now you're gonna wanna take a pretty equal amount of each one of those woods, wrap them up in some aluminum foil, and then preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. I'm gonna show you a graphic in a second that shows you what temperature and amount of time you wanna roast them for, for the flavor profiles you're actually going for with your whiskey. So I set my oven for 350 degrees and I toasted for about a half an hour, which has the kitchen smelling good and the wood given this light brown color. So at 350 for 30 minutes, I'm kind of aiming for the area right in between vanilla and oaky. So we're gonna see how that pans out after aging for a few months. So now all the work you have left to do is take all that wood you just toasted Cram it into some jars, and then you're going to seal them up tight and let them sit. If you do decide that you're going to do more than one wood for this kind of experiment, don't forget to label and date your jars. That's way you can see the progression, you know when they're gonna be old enough and what they are so you can decide what you like and don't like. So now, after about one month, it's starting to take on a great color. But after three months, it's gotten a lot darker, the smell is a lot richer, and it's looking pretty good. So now we're going to just pour it into a glass and try it out. So now the question you're probably about to ask yourself is if I had three jars, why is there so little in that bottle and why am I only pouring one glass? Well, the problem was the only one that didn't suck was the black cherry. The pecan had almost no flavor. It smelled very nice, but very little flavor. The apple smelled really good, kind of smoky, kind of fruity, but was really sharp and harsh on the tongue. The cherry, very fruity, almost like a Chambord, and delicious. That's it. Please like and subscribe.